Hello. Welcome to Understanding Geeses and Concepts. Normal temperature of our body is 37 degrees Celsius. To have a comfortable bath. We normally use of 25 liters of hot water at 43 to 45 degrees Celsius. In conventional electric storage geyser to get average 45 degree hot water of 25 liter, we have to heat it up to 70 degrees. In our gravity electric storage geyser to get average 45 degree hot water of 25 liter, we have to heat it up to 45 degrees only. The electricity consumption difference between 75 and 45 degrees is the saving. We will have detailed understanding of concepts in the following videos. Conventional storage geysers uses hot water displacement principle. In these geysers, there is a cold water inlet pipe and heater coil mounted vertically and hot water outlet pipe. There is a non-return valve at cold water inlet pipe. When cold water tap opens, water is filled to complete volume. After water discharge at outlet pipe, close hot water tap, heater coil switches on, and water heats up to set temperature. When the hot water tap opens, cold water flows in and pushes out hot water. In this process cold water mixes with hot water and reduces the temperature of already heated water, which cannot be avoided. If inlet cold water tap is closed and outlet hot water tap is open, no water comes out due to air lock. So in displacement principle, hot water comes out only when cold water flows in. In this principle always there is a mixing of cold and hot water, and also loss of energy. Now, our gravity storage geyser uses cold water isolation and pressure relief valve technology. There is a solenoid valve at cold water inlet pipe. L-shape heater coil mounted at bottom. Pressure relief valve at top. And hot water outlet pipe. In our gravity storage geyser, cold water tap opens. Water is ready to fill. When solenoid valve opens, even outlet hot water tap is closed. Cold water flows inside tank. Pressurized air escape through pressure relief valve. The water is filled completely or partially as per user requirement. Solenoid valve closes the inlet cold water for set volume. Heater coil switches on and heats the water to set temperature. Inside pressure is equalized to surrounding pressure. When hot water tap opens, only heated water flows out with constant temperature without adding cold water by the help of solenoid and pressure relief valve. Non-drainable reserve water gives complete dry run protection for coils. In this principle we can save electrical energy to the tune of 35%. Now let us understand pros and cons of two different principles. Conventional storage geyser delivers hot water at reducing temperature. Whereas our gravity storage geyser delivers hot water at constant temperature. In conventional storage geyser, electricity is wasted due to mixing of hot and cold water. Whereas in our gravity storage geyser, there is a comparative saving up to 35% due to cold water isolation. In conventional storage geyser, in a tank, is pressurized and there is a chance of explosion. Whereas in our gravity geyser, this problem is eliminated due to normalized pressure. Irrespective of usage in conventional storage geyser, complete volume of water has to be heated, so dead storage is complete volume. Whereas in our gravity storage geyser, only required volume of water can be filled up and heated, in this case dead storage is only 5 liters. Conventional storage geyser works on inflow water pressure. Whereas our gravity storage geyser works on gravitational force. Be a part of global efforts to conserve environment. Conserve water and electricity every day and be a green warrior. Thank you.